Hello, Kidlets. Welcome back. I hope you had a great time going out and getting all those photos. And as you get closer and closer to being that really, really great photographer that I know you can be. So I hope you've had fun though, because it's great being a photographer. It's great seeing, uh, getting feedback on your own artistic vision and how it looks is a kind of a really fun thing to do. I've always really enjoyed photography and it's worked great for me. So in this lesson, we're going to take our photos. So your photos, my photos, and we're going to make them even better. Okay, we're going to, to uh, I guess, tweak them and edit them and add filters to them, all those things, because this is what professional photographers do. They take the image and then they work with it and make it even better. Now, there is a world of photography out there with no filters, no editing, no touching, and that's, that's a cool world too. But for what we want to learn how to do, let's at least learn how to do it. Then we have the choice of saying, let's do it, let's not do it. Let's just kind of see how things go. All right, so let's get right into it. So you can see here, I'm going to have to put on my, my old man glasses because we're getting serious now. We're going to really be looking at things here. Okay, so um, the first things first, if I open up my Photos app, you will see that I have um, a new folder here called Photos Level 2. And we learned that in Level 1, remember, how to organize our photos and how to make a new folder. So I, you know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of photos in here, and I went and found those that I wanted and, and put them in their own little folder so you wouldn't have to be mixed up uh, going through all my photos as we try to find uh, the ones to do some editing on today. So that's that's number one. If you haven't done that, you might want to do that. Okay, uh, number two is we're going to use an app called Photo Toaster right here, Photo Toaster. Now there's lots of different apps out there for using filters and I, I just like Photo Toaster because I like how it works, okay? And you might prefer a different one, but for right now, Get the Photo Toaster app if you haven't got it already, and let's go through this together. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Photo Toaster. And I'm going to go to my photo library. Make sure I have access to that. Okay, so now that I've got my photo album open here, let's just go ahead and start with any of them. I'm going to start with the one of the jugs of water here that I did for the challenge about shooting a shape. So I, obviously I did circles. Okay, so you know I've got the photo, it's right from above. It's pretty good. The first thing I'm gonna do here is, is really, um, let me close that, I'm gonna crop it. Let's see how it looks. Now let's go with everything cropped square. So there's the presets are down here. You see I, I selected crop back there. Let me close that and show you again. Okay, so the crop tool is up here. So I just tapped on crop and I said I want to go to the crop. And then I'm going to tap on square down here is the presets. And now it is locked on that. So now if I put this guy right in the middle, I know normally, like I said, you want to kind of keep things out of the middle, but for this case, you know, in this scenario, I think I really do want to have it just in the middle. So I'm going to go with that. I like, you know, there's no, there's a leaf in here and the, the bricks and everything. You don't really see that. Now you just see that, uh, just these circles. So I'm going to go with that love that that's looking a lot better and now let's tap on the little globe down here in the bottom left corner and then if we tap the little menu down here we can, you can see we have basics and then uh, deluxe ones here let me try this one for dusk and you know you just you try them until you kind of come across one that you really like and i've used this before so i, I kind of know the ones that i like here uh, Okay, now here, X-Pro. Love that one there. It's put a nice little edge on everything. Let me close this menu here. You can take a look at it here. Look at how great that is starting to look. <clears throat> so it is a wonderful looking photo. And so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so I like how this photo looks. And I'm going to go up here to the share button and tell it to save to the photo library. Okay, so now it's saved. So this is what I'm getting at. I can't tell you what looks good for you. Okay, I'm not there with you going through all your photos. You need to, to really just turn on that artistic eye and just start to take a look and go, you know, is that better or is that worse than it was by adding that filter? And then you'll come across just like I did. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to be X Pro until I started to use it. And then here it turned out to be really nice. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm going to press the back arrow here and go back into my photo library. Okay, so we've got that one done. Uh, let's maybe do the flower. Let's see how the flower looks here. Okay, so it's opened up. And again, I'm going to start with by cropping it. And I want to crop square. 
let's just take a little look here what we need to have here I just want I'm moving it now towards the top because remember not everything has to be in the middle and of course it's it's looking in this direction so these are called lead lines when obviously the flower is pointing in this direction I'm going to leave some some empty space here if I was to crop it the other way and go like this it, it just doesn't look right and so you've got to kind of work with way someone is looking or you know when we talk about photographing people it's which way they're looking but with with objects you can kind of see which way they're facing and that looks good to me so I'm going to tap on the uh, check mark there okay so again I'm going to go into here into my my presets um, tie-dye is this one here no I don't really like that and I really don't even know what I'm going for here until I try some things let's try the bleach bypass Ooh, I kind of I lose the yellow on that and of course X Pro will probably make it look really good again but I can't I don't want to do that twice in a row let's see about pastel uh, no no I'm gonna tap on the button over here go to the supreme level hold on kidlets we're going for the supreme level okay Toy Story ooh that kind of blurs the edges but no don't want that profound profound ooh I kind of like that uh, but let me just try a couple other ones here this realtor one no 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 high color no you can see the little previews down here um, let's see angry pants angry pants no oil paint I really want the yellow to come through so I don't want to really lose the yellow kind of like the conflicted one there let's go back to profound no I'm gonna go with profound okay so I'm gonna go now when you do photos that belong together so all these shape ones all these color ones you should probably use the same filter in all of them so that you have some consistency so let's let's do a few more and just to see how they look here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send that to the photo library of course save that there and let's open up the other yellow one and put that filter as well on it so profound I got to remember that I should write that one down back into my photo library and let's go get the other yellow one here and crop it square I don't want to lose any of these edges here so let's just do that and then would we say this was profound under the supreme menu here supreme profound oh yeah it's looking good too these are going to match great okay I'm going to save that to my photo library because when we put these on exhibition when you have or you're just showing them to people on your phone or on your tablet it, when they all match it looks really good when they match when they go together now obviously I'm not using the same one for the color assignment as I used for the shape assignment so we're, we're mixing this up a little bit let's go back into and get the other uh, color one here sorry the other shape one so that's a circle let's do it to this one here because we used X Pro on it remember that and let's go ahead and try that and see how it looks okay same thing let's go in and crop that to square keep that right in the middle I think X Pro was on the the deluxe menu here there it is X Pro let's maybe do one more and then we'll go back out into photos I'm going to show you what they look like here but you get the idea okay let's do one more and uh, let's do let's see should we do Mike yeah let's do Mike here Okay, let's go into here, crop that one square. I want a lot of space around Mike, so I'm really going to try to make it quite big. All right, let's go start taking a look at these uh, little previews down here to see which one we want to make Mike. Let's see, old school.
I like Roadhouse. Roadhouse is going to be the one. Okay, so I'm going to export this one, uh, save to the photo library, and let's go grab one other one of Mike's. We have matching of each one of these things. Sorry, I said this was going to be the last photo, but I just I'm so I'm so into it now. These are looking so good. All right, let's go get another one of Mike, maybe on the yeah with the fries. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and crop Mike square. And let's see about a filter here. Yeah, Roadhouse is the one. And let me just go ahead and save that out to the photo library. All right, let's tap on the first one that we've been editing here. I'm gonna tap in this little area here so we can get rid of all the menus and look at how great that photo is. That is an exceptional looking photo. Really, really looks nice. Plant, this looks like something you'd see in a magazine. I mean, it's, it's absolutely beautiful as well. And it looks like I, I saved that one twice because here it is again. And there's our other matching yellow one. So if we went back to the other yellow, see how they kind of match now. Very nice. The photo one, look at the edges here. If we go back to here, same type of edge on our circle one. So the, those match and they look great. I mean, the coloring, everything with that filter has really made that one look great. And then we have wonderful Mike here. He's looking really good. And of course, another matching photo here as well. Looks really, really good. Because the color, the tones, everything. Okay, so that is really how to make your object photography look even that much better. Photo Toaster is just a fantastic app. And of course, we just barely scratched the surface with it. I think you should really get in there, try all the different things, see what you can do to a photo. And uh, it's non-destructive editor, which means your original is always there. Okay, so even if you do all these things to it, you can just cancel it and go open it up again and then start again. On, on brand new. So, so that's how uh, the photo toaster app works and that's how to make your photos look really, really good and editing them.